Hello, welcome to the Pro Tools Tips brought to you by Lilac Writer. Today we have a fairly simple tip, which is using the command key in conjunction with grid mode. If you watched the previous videos, you saw that I commonly was switching back and forth between slip and grid mode while editing, because sometimes you need the fine control and other times you need to snap to the grid and a lot of times it's back and forth. Well, a really handy way to handle this is to use the command key to override grid mode while you're in grid mode. So right here, I'm gonna edit this bass line. Let me just play a little bit of what I got. I don't know if you can hear that, I'll solo that, but there's a little pop on the beginning of these bass notes. Because the edits are a little bit, um, they're not faded in. So I'm going to ungroup these. And then I'll demonstrate how this command key works. I'm still in grid mode and I'm going to zoom up using T. And you'll see that the waveform here is chopped a little bit. So normally I would exit grid mode so that I could slide this back and work on that trailing edge. But if I hold down command, um, it temporarily puts me in the um, out of grid mode. So I can pull that back and then I just did that crossfade while in grid mode. I'm going to undo that. I can also hold command while doing this crossfade and now let go of command. I'm in grid mode and I can pop this back to line up right on the measure. Let's zoom out a little bit. So the next one also has this problem and see if I try to drop the um, insert point uh, cursor right here, I can't because I'm in... Um, grid mode. But if I hold down command, I can. And so now I can zoom zoom in on the next one and work on this uh, transient. Again, I can hold down command, slide that back, still hold down command, and put my crossfade in. And I'm still in grid mode. And then we'll do, um, we'll do the last one. So now I have a crossfade there. I didn't move anything. And I'm going to zoom back out from there. And now, while I'm in, um, now I'm automatically in grid mode, I can select everything here and uh, group it. I've never went into slip mode, and I've resolved this issue. So that's the Pro Tools tip for today using command in grid mode to temporarily go to slip mode and we'll talk to you again soon thank you bye bye